And if you're thinking about a series of connected problems, say the origins of the Industrial Revolution, how we should spend foreign aid, how economic development can be encouraged, uh, for this reason, do you see the roles of ideas and religions as primary, uh, as driving forces, or, or not so much? Yeah, um, so uh, in my latest project, I'm really looking at the kind of spread of uh, the Western church into Europe and how it transformed the social structure in ways that I think led to individualism and led to a different kind of cultural psychology that would eventually pave the way for secular institutions and economic growth. So, so the church is the first mover in that account. And what did the British and the Dutch arguably have that, say, other parts of Europe, or for that matter, China, might not have had as much of? Well, um, in the case of the, uh, when the church first began to spread its marriage and family program, where it would dissolve all these complex kinship groups, um, and it, it altered marriage, so it ended polygyny, it ended cousin marriage, which stopped the kind of, uh, forced people to marry further away, which would build contacts between larger groups. That actually starts in 600 in, uh, in Kent, Anglo-Saxon Kent, and then uh, missionaries then spread out into Holland and uh, northern France and places like that. So at least in terms of timing, the, the marriage and family program gets its start in s southern England. 